everyone thanks so much for coming in for a video I'm going to do one of these two I was going to do two I was going to do it live but um, I got called away suddenly so I could not do it I do I think I'll do this one they're both from the thrift store that has them really cheap ten dollars actually one is twelve ninety eight I wonder why you think this one's better we'll find out very soon I might be holding something so let's see what's that what that's all about Okay, so it looks like we have some plastic bags, safety pins somehow. All right, let's see what is in these bags, guys, and in these jars. I'm going to go ahead and pull everything out, set it somewhat aside over here, and we'll pull them out as we see. Here's a little silver backing. It looks like sterling. I love when I get sterling back, so I really do want my sterling earrings to use sterling backs. All right, well, right off the bat, we have a match of these really cute hoops. I really like this color. Yeah, these are pretty nice. Kind of a one inch hoop, nice and matched up. So that's always good. And then here's some, I don't know, they kind of look like abalone at first, but they're I don't know if they are. They may be artificial abalone. They sure are cute, though. And they they are matched as well. Kind of a pristine design there. And then some blue as well. I can't tell if that's fake or not. I think it is. I think it's a metal that's kind of colored to make it look like abalone. But they're very cute. They almost have a brutalist look about them. I like that. Oh, wow, look at this watch. It's just a little sequin watch. How funny. Very lightweight. Geneva, of course. And oh, unfortunately, this beautiful mesh was folded, and now it's got a dent, because that was a nice bracelet at one time. Oh, my gosh. What a shame they had to do that. What a shame they had to do that, for sure. I put that in a crafter lot. Someone can make something out of that. Oh, here's a mini key. Earring, that's cute. Here's the back I was talking about. Let me see if it's not marked or anything. Yes, it is, 925. Yeah, it kind of looked like it just from the patina there because I often have sterling earrings and they may, they don't always have their backs. Here's another earring, just a little dangle. This looks like a vintage one. Here's some earrings in this bag. They're plastic. They're pretty. They really are. Wow, I wasn't expecting them to be that pretty. They're gold tone. They're dangles. They're actually kind of mother of pearl or maybe just kind of a pearlescent bead there. And that wood bead really sets it off too. So I like that. That's really cool. Oh, this is pretty. I like this too. These are interesting beads. I believe they're just um, like decoupage wood. But they're very interesting designs. Really nice. And these are kind of, uh, they're wood as well. They're kind of a splatter paint on that. The stringing was not that well done. There's a lot of space there, but nonetheless, it's a nice one. Let me put that in a bead lot because that's a nice... A nice design on the beads. I like it. Okay, here. These are the same kinds of beads that they use on the earrings. So someone was definitely having fun learning to bead jewelry, learning to make beaded jewelry. They've got some interesting designs going on, too. Not bad at all. Not bad. Child's bracelet stretch. A stretchy ring. That's kind of cute. All the stones are there. Pink. That's cute. It looks like they may have replaced the stone there or maybe just lost some of the color. Doesn't look bad though. Okay. What else is in here? We have a big tingle. So let's see what is in here. This is a nice angle. And uh, it's really pretty because the stones are prong set, black, and it actually is magnetic so you don't have to go through any pain to put that on. It's very cute. It's really attractive. I like it. 
That's very nice. That's our glass. I've never seen a bangle made like that. That's quite nice. It really is pretty. All right, here's uh, some pearls that came out of that tangle. I believe they're gold tone. Maybe it's an anklet. Oh, it's a bracelet. It's a little triple strand bracelet. Nice. Kind of a bead chain there, bead ball chain. Got some stud earrings, lots of little earrings. I'll just put these aside and we'll see if we match any up after we get through this jar. Oh, this is cute. I am liking this. I am liking these beads on here. This is really cute. Love the antique metal on there. And the green and rose. Interesting beads there as well. Lots of really pretty beads in this one. Let me just get it untangled a bit. Double it very easily. I love it. I love the colors of those pearls. And I like the way they added some interesting elements in addition. Nice little stations throughout. Look at that. Even a clear one here. These are acrylic. I believe all of the, the glass looking ones are actually acrylic. But they're very pretty, and I love to play with the different colors. This is a very, very nice piece. I like this a lot. We got a Lucky Penny, 2003. A little orange earring, more charm here, some angel wings, that's cute. Looks like it could have been added to some kind of a bracelet or something. Very nice. This, oh, these are cute hoops, look at those. <gasps> There's a match, awesome. These are super. I really like these a lot. Very cute in this color. Look at that. Those are nice. I like different earrings like that. All right. And then I think this is a little child's preteen type of jewelry with little hearts. Silver tone, enameled. And a rubber band. Beads. This looks a little older for some reason. It's a nice, nice play with the design. I like it. All acrylic. Colors are very pretty though, kind of amber-like, almost like a dusty rose color there as well. And then even some pearl colored ones here at the top. That's not, not too bad. We've got a lot of things. Okay, so they tie, somehow they, they put a safety pin to indicate a set here I guess so they added again just a lot of crafty These are earrings in the package I don't you know this would have probably been nicer I think if it didn't have yeah, that gold down there I think it, it would look better I don't know I mean it's okay I just don't really think the gold tone does much with the rest of it it looks kind of Christmassy actually with the colors Maybe they could have put a Christmas tree or something. <laughs> I don't know. Not these. These are actually kind of cute. The colors are actually very nice. They're swirly bugle beads. So let me just put this in the bead lot. There's another one. Very nice. Also acrylic. But I do like the way they use the design. They, they really did not do a bad job. Look. They're very pretty. They're very interesting beads. They really are. Very nice. Another one. I think they were probably selling some of these. These are actually all crystal or acrylic. So these are very pretty here. These are the crystal ones. The green and these kind of round, unfaceted type are, are glass or crystal. And then the other ones are acrylic and these at the tip. At the very tip are also acrylic. Actually, I have a necklace, something like this, and they give off beautiful iridescent colors. They're very nice. This almost looks like the, the Pope I got last time, but I don't think this is the Pope. I don't know who that is. Do you all recognize that face? Maybe it was somebody's husband or something. That's interesting. Gold tone. So that's interesting. What is this? Ooh, look at this, guys. I think this is uh, a bracelet of some sort and a ring. The ring is cute. I don't know if it's a slave bracelet. I guess it could be. 
Yeah, it's a little slave bracelet. That's cute. There we go there. Right there. Look at that. Very cool. Very nice. I'd love to find one of these in turquoise and coral. Sterling silver. I have seen them. Oh, these are pretty. Nice use of color to here too. Little hoop, and here is a match. Nice. All right, more earrings. Southwest look. Super bright, 80s. Oh, these feel interesting. These are cold. I wonder if these aren't jet or some other kind of natural stone. Listen to that. Love it, and it feels so cold and pretty. And they're knotted. These are awesome. Oh, I love these. These are really cool. I wonder if they're not onyx. Onyx or jet because they feel amazing. They feel, oh, these are so great to fidget with, guys. I just love them. They are cool. Oh my goodness, they're infinite as well. And they're nice and long, easily doubled. What a fabulous, what a fabulous piece. That definitely paid for the $10 jar right there. Indeed, I, oh my gosh, these are pretty. I'll let you take a good close look at those. They just feel so awesome. Those will probably stay in my collection. I love the way they feel. Okay, here's another nice um, string of beads here really shiny and pretty kind of a kind of a charcoal color I guess black and super shiny faceted beads there there's a string of beads already here oh, well, well there's the lucky penny well thank you lucky penny I think you worked out okay all right here's a strand I don't know if this is hematite they're cold or what I don't know if it says, maybe they're just a gunmetal color for, so someone was definitely into the beads and this is in the bead gallery. It doesn't say what it is, but I'm gonna put those in a bead lot as well. Black hematite, okay, here it does say. Black hematite, six millimeter spacer stone. I, w I wish they would have had the price so we could know, you guys could, I would know because I haven't really seen where they, you know, the natural stones and things like that and what they price them at. But just the plastic and acrylic and glass beads are so expensive. That's definitely going into a bead lot as well. Oh my gosh, this is cute. These look like J, but I think they're acrylic. They are so cute. Oh, I love these earrings. These are definitely vintage looking. They are post. How cute are those? Sprig of pearls with some leaves. They almost look like grapes. Oh, here's the match. Thank you so much for putting the match. Oh, I love these. These are cool. What a great bag, guys, already. Amazing. I am so thrilled with this place. I gotta go back and look for more. All right, these are the hoops that we got in the beginning, so we got those. These are, I believe, some dyed um, howlite, and I don't think they finished this beautiful strand, but look how cute that would be on a purse. Wouldn't that be a cute purse charm? Just put a little key ring on it, some kind of, that's so pretty. I'm sure it's dyed howlite. Super pretty though, and nice. I love that. Interesting matrix, but um, I don't know, it looks a little uniform to me. I see a little white through there as well. Very nice though. All right, that may just go into a beadlot as well. More hoop earrings. These are cute as a button. And I hope there's another one. They're nautical, look at those. And a snowman, those are cute. Be nice to find these too. Rhinestones. Those are super cute little dangle earrings. Really cute. Oh, here's the evil eye bracelet that uh, one of my wonderful YouTube friends asked me about. I may have to send that to her with her handbag. Isn't that cute? That is awesome. It's got elephants too. A little moon. 
and even a handbag. Okay, it was made for you. It was absolutely made for you. <laughs> There's, uh, I believe, some rose quartz in here. Or maybe just pink glass. Cute colors in this one, too. Yeah, someone was definitely having fun beading and doing some wonderful work. Yeah, I like that. I like I like her sense of design. I really do. I do. I like that a lot. More strands of beads oh, here. No. Okay. This is a charm. At a Western charm collection. Okay, so that must have been where this one came from as well. So those are nice to add to a bead lot too, I think. That would be the cool ring. Dichroic glass. This is the second ring I find in the dichroic glass. What a pretty color. I kind of like that. I like the simplicity of it and the richness of that color makes it pop. Another interesting earring with kind of jade colored and pearl design. These are cool. A cigar band style. Just uh, silver tone. Oh, here's a cute ring. This one's actually a copper base. Look at that, it's got a crown and a solitaire. That's kind of cute. Prong set rhinestone there. <laughs> Charms that I'll put in a bead lot as well. Hope and love, those are cute. Actually, look, these are toggles. So that could go at the end of the necklace. Very cool. Designs on both sides. So those are nice. Here's a strand of white beads. Acrylic as well. More single earrings here. A pumpkin. Art. Don't see anything on the back of it. You know I'm going to look really closely at the little studs now. <laughs> because they can turn out to be sterling or something. Okay, here's another little set with the matching earrings. You can see that pretty well in there. More here, some pink ones. These are glass. Some of these are glass, some of them are, are acrylic. Looks like they wanted originally $5 for these, which is a no bad price. With your little matching earrings. We have, oh look, we can see inside the how light now, guys. That is the inside, mostly white. They had earrings to, to match, and here they are. Definitely were made to match that. So those are not a big lot. Ooh, a big ring. Nice. This is a nice ring. Look at that. It's not even, um, what you call it, a stretch. It might even be, what, is it marked? Oh my gosh. Let's see what it says. Look at that. That's interesting. That is interesting. Wow. It's 925. Wow, it says 925. I'm going to definitely test it and see if it even scratches like 92. It does look like sterling. Let me just see if it has a... Oh, it's got a nice scratch. Yeah. See, usually the sterling really has a nice, a nice rich scratch. So that's cool. Wow, nice. That's a beautiful ring, guys. It's nice and faceted. So bingo, 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 bingo with the onyx colored stone. I'm not sure if it's onyx or sure. it looks like it. Look at the back. It's gorgeous. It does look like onyx to me. It is sterling. Let me get the acid, though. Now that I scratched it, might as well get the acid. Let me find it. Here it is. Too bad this ring is kind of big on me. I would have loved it on my ring finger. All right, let's get the acid out. Found it. Okay. Now let me find a spot for this ring. Oh, my goodness. Okay, I'm going to take off the big butterfly that I love. Oh, wow, that's a nice one. That's a nice ring. Okay, let's do the acid test, guys. Now, my acid test is as directed, okay? It, don't, it doesn't change color on me. I don't use the 18K. I use silver. And it's not supposed to disappear. The lines should remain. So let's take a look. Let's take a look. Do we see any lines in there? Gosh, I can't see. I see the lines. They're still there. So definitely silver. Definitely silver. And if you want, we can do the 18. <laughs> Just for the heck of it. Let's just do what everybody else 
uh, seems to to do because they can't they can't see the lines. But I can tell just by the scratch, guys, just by the beautiful rich scratch that it is silver because it uh, it scratches nicely like chalk. Okay, so let's get the other one. This is the 18K. Turn bluish is what they say. But some kits, people use kits that actually tell you they turn colors. This kit doesn't say that. This kit says um, that it doesn't disappear. So that's why I just use the... Use the Did y'all see that? It turned blue. Let me try it again. This is awesome. I really like this one. Okay. Yeah, I can tell it's silver just by looking at it. I'm super excited about this ring. I think it's cute. Okay, 18K. It's supposed to turn bluish. It's supposed to turn bluish. And it does. See? Blue, blue, blue. So, definitely. Definitely 18K. I mean, definitely. Sterling. Awesome possum. I think I need to get some... Uh, some fresh acid on the on the silver. I think I used that one so much more. Maybe it's been exposed to a lot of light or something. I don't know, but I'm gonna get some more. But we will do the the scratch again. Oh, I can tell it's silver just from here. Dark now. You can't even see through it anymore. So I'm glad I did the 18K test. I can see. Yeah, I can see the lines are still there, but I have to use a loop. I'm going to go ahead and do the other, the 18K, because I can see the lines, but I have to use a loop so you can't see them. But let's do it again anyway. Here we go. 18K, I mean, <laughs> we're going to use the 18K acid test, the one that turns blue, okay? So a lot of people use this. They think it's easier to use, easier to see. I agree in a lot of ways. Um, and my... My uh, silver has definitely turned. It's gotten very dark, and it's hard to see. So let's do this. the 18K. The 18K is supposed to turn blue upon contact. And that's what it's doing. And you can see it pretty clearly there that it has turned blue. Oh, definitely. What a beautiful way they did that faceting on that. I believe it's onyx. That's what it looks like to me. And there's this, the hallmarks inside. Wow. Great bag for $10. I really wish it would have fit me on my, on my ring finger. I would have loved it on my ring finger. But I'll take it for the middle finger. It's actually too big for my ring finger. It'll, it would bother my, my knuckle there, so... Yeah. Wow, I love it. Ooh, look at that. Yeah. Nice. Oh, I love it. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, and there's still more. We're not even finished. Let's put the acids in there. All right, I think we only have one of these so far. Here's a cute swan. It's broken. That'll go in a crafter lot. Oh, that's pretty. I don't think it's uh, anything but silver tone, but it's pretty. It's got like a moonstone color. Very nice. Oh, my bed is here. All right, we're going to pause because my bed is here. All right. Okay, guys, I'm back. My beautiful furniture was delivered. It is now in this room. Okay, what is this? This is such interesting jewelry, guys. This is a basketball <laughs> with rhinestones. That is too cute. My goodness. And what does this say? It says Heart of Texas... Tres Dias, Tres Dias, number 12, greater is he. So that's awesome. Somebody is wearing a an interesting necklace with a blessing and everything. Look at that. Wow. Look at these guys. And these are matched. These are beautiful. Oh my goodness. See, when I see earrings like this, I wish I had a pixie cut. Those are beautiful, and I'm so glad they're matched. Here's a little gold tone, bronze or something. A little pink.
unicorn. No match on that one. Okay, we did have a match on this green one. So here it is right here. These are pretty, kind of a peridot with a little post design, kind of rhinestones. That's interesting too. It's a hoop and a turquoise. I don't think we have a match to some of these. Set. But we did get a match on these Southwest looking ones. Someone's gonna love these though. We did a match on the key. That was a nice one. red one. Pretty color on that. Really pretty one. Looks like a fire opal. Um, the rest of the pumpkin there. I don't know where I saw this, but I have seen this earring in several jars. Lots of little remnants. Oh, here's a stretch bracelet. Stones. That is nice. That's a nice addition to a crafter lot, too. They're just plastic, but they sure are pretty and bright. Hammered earring. Looks like bronze. There's a match on those, though, so those are cute. I like this one a lot. I don't see a match to it. It's a little rose. Oh, here's a bag of something. And here's a green one also. Lots of backs left over, lots of backs and things like that. But I still have another jar from this store, so I'm going to leave these single earrings in a separate jar. This is a little dolphin, looks like sterling, maybe not. We'll take a better look at that. This is interesting. It's a what is that? Is that a crown? Or? These are crystal, these are nice beads. These are crystal beads, there's rondelles, very nice and shiny, pretty ones. Really pretty. And I'm not sure what this symbol is or what, is it a crown? It almost looks like a crown with a feather or something. But that's pretty. So, that is pretty much it guys, isn't that nice? So, that's definitely the end of this wonderful bag. More than worth the $10 that I paid for it. Just with the ring alone, sterling silver. I'm no. thinking about the brilliance on it, the facets, and the way it's so beautiful. It reminds me of uh, black spinel. So that's a possibility as well. We are excited about it, though. I'll tell you that much. I love it. I think it's amazing. Just beautiful. Everything it was just so fabulous. It was a great jar, $10. Wasn't it? No, yeah, $9.98. That was an amazing jar for $9.98. Lots of wonderful beads and everything in here. Beautiful sterling ring. Absolutely love this ring. Please come back again for another video very soon. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up. If you didn't do it on the way in, do it on the way out. And if you haven't subscribed already, I hope you do so today. And I'll see you soon in the next video. Bye.